Reddit stories are popular. Don't tell me you never seen these. It's just text, captions, Minecraft. It's all happening fast. If you search for Reddit stories, you'll see that they all function in the same way. And trust me, anyone can do this. And I really mean it. Anyone. Today I will show you where to get all of these, how to edit them, where to get the voiceover, and a little trick that's gonna help you. So let's go with the first step. What you have to do firstly is to find the story for it. There is a subreddit which is called Am I the Asshole? There is this one which is just called Stories. And then there's this one, Creepypasta. Now I know what a lot of people are just telling you, Creepypasta has its own website. You don't have to take it from Reddit. If you just search for it, Creepypasta.com, there's gonna be this website. And this website has a lot of these stories and you can see that they even have certain ranks so what do you have to do you have to search for these get them in the first person i'm gonna tell you how to do that and then just combine all of these pieces together let's say for example that i wanted to read this story and i just go into it and i can see that it is 15 minutes you don't need that much if you take a look all of these are like two minutes only so what are we gonna do we're gonna take this story which is in the third person and we're just gonna switch it over to the first person and of course we're gonna make it shorter for that i use chat gpt and then i just write something like this i tell it to just write me in the first person delete the unnecessary things and to focus only on the story then i just copy the entire story paste the story here in chat gpt and of course chat gpt is gonna do the work now you might be wondering where to get all of these minecraft parkour things like all of that and they need to be copyright free i always just use youtube because there's a lot of these for example as you can see if i scroll down there's one hour and 20 minutes of relaxing actually relaxing minecraft parkour you you can just use the search bar like this and you can of course add copyright free and trust me there's a lot of these videos on youtube which you can just take down also you can just search for them online if you just have to some time to invest which i strongly suggest the next thing well you just have to watch the videos from other people go and see what they're doing Go and see what kind of captions they have. Go and see what kind of stories they have. And go and see what kind of music they have. So, after you download the video, which you want, I usually switch over to CapCut Online. CapCut is free and it can create captions and it can edit the videos really fast. And it has voiceover as well. It's a free tool and it's in your browser. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to pay for it. You just have to sit down and to just combine all of these pieces. Simply just make yourself an account you can do with Google. And then when you're on the inside, you can just create new video and then you just have to add that Minecraft video first. Now, first of all, choose this. This is going to be for TikTok. Just choose this. Click to upload that Minecraft video. And then there's two options for the voiceover. You've got the text on ChatGPT ready for you. You can, of course, use CapCut. CapCut has an excellent voiceover inside of it. But also, I like to use Eleven Labs. This is by far one of the greatest ones because, well, it feels natural. Have a listen. Never tell anyone what you are doing until it is done. It's going to go perfectly with the Minecraft Reddit stories. So what I do, I take the text, paste it into 11 Labs here, click on Generate, and I just download the voiceover there. Now, this text is also going to prove useful to us because we want to make the captions, and captions with CapCut are really cool. Some of these you have to pay for, but some of these usual ones, like, for example, these that go, like, word for word, well, they're free to use on CapCut, and they're really good because they just get a lot of attention a lot of watch time you can get by simply adding the captions inside of your videos i mean people already know it and that's the biggest trick everyone is copying from one another you don't have to like reinvent the wheel you don't have to make nothing extra you can just model the success that is already there you don't have to make something new i mean if it works already for a lot of other people just go and do what they're doing and of course you will grow over time you will make some new tactics but firstly as a beginner just go and see what these other people are doing. They're making huge money out of it, especially on TikTok. Now for the music, CapCut has a lot of songs into this music library of theirs. But of course, the most popular one for these Reddit stories is this, Undertale OST. Just try to find one which is copyright free. You can download it from YouTube as well, or you can just use YouTube Audio Music Library. Now, we know that TikTok has a lot of traffic, right? But they have two programs, all right? So... Don't make a mistake going with the creator fund. Creator fund is just 
like it's too bad, all right? Simply because it gives you too low amount of money for the views. If you do a simple Google search, you will see that you get between two and four cents for every 1,000 views. Now that's just peanuts. That's only 20 to $40 per a million views. So just imagine if you get 1 million views on YouTube, well, you're a rich person. And this one gives you 20 to 40 bucks. The trick is to use creativity program, which is in the beta phase, but there are some requirements. You have to have US based account. That's not hard to make, just use VPN. But you have to have at least 10,000 followers and you can gather them with Reddit stories. And this is the easiest one to get like 100,000 video views in the last 30 days because these just tend to go viral. If you search through these stories, you can see 1.5 million views, 700,000, 1.2 million views. So it's actually not really hard to get views. Followers, are, but I'll tell you one secret. You just have to be consistent, all right? There's nothing else to it. All of these people that have success on TikTok, they're just successful because, well, they're consistent. All of these other people, well, you can call them quitters. They just don't have enough patience, you know? And if you take a look at one of these accounts, for example, Reddit Revealed, and you take a look, well, they're posting regularly. You know, that is the only trick on any one of these social media platforms. You can just do this with YouTube as well, with Instagram reels, whatever. But the trick is just to be dedicated enough. If you post one per day, it's hard not to succeed. All right. It's really hard not to be successful if you go and post one of these per day. If you post two per day, it's going to be even better, especially when you're just starting out. Some of these people are just doing it with Subway Surfer. As you can see, you can find all of these videos as well online. And of course, there's a lot of stories out there. You just have to grab all of these pieces together. You don't have to pay for CapCut or anything else for that matter. You just have to sit down and edit these videos. Of course, there's a way you can just pay to a lot more people, to the voiceover guy, to the editor guy, to I don't know, whatever. You can just outsource all of this. But I think that'll come down the line when you just have like five of these per day and maybe you run more channels. Of course, if you have some capital, if you have some money lying around that you want to invest into something like this, go and make yourself a team. You will not have to work like never, right? They will just go and grab the stories. They will edit the video. They will just find like music for it. But then again, as I've told you, you just have to be consistent. Now, of course, you can find all those people on Fiverr. You can find them over on Upwork. And you can see, for example, for video editors, there's like more than 40,000 services available. And some of these, of course, will not rip you off because, yeah, you can see some of these fellas, well, they just take like $50 per minute. But some of these, as you can see, will edit your content for $5 per two minutes. So this is a really good thing. Same goes with voiceovers. You can see there's a a lot of people out there that you can hire for yourself. There's plenty of people ready to work for you. But as I've told you numerous times, it'll all come down to you and your effort. If you think you can't do it, if you think that you're going to quit in one month or two months, well, don't start it. Honestly, save yourself up some time. But if you think you can do it, go and do it. Do not quit. It's not rocket science. It's just dedication. So wish you good luck.